What's up, hard work? This is your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I'm super duper back with another one, real quick, y'all. Let's get straight into it. So, I want to talk about this rumor that's been going around for years about Jay Z and his mistress, and allegedly he's supposed to, you know, got rid of her, delete her, or something like that because he was nervous. So, a lady by the name of Claudia Joy, and I forgot what she do for some reason. She's kind of famous, but she actually put out a story about Jay Z clearing his name. So I want to play this for y'all real quick, and then I'm going to let y'all determine what it is. Y'all be easy. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. I saw him in Vegas at a party where Jay-Z was there, Diddy was there, my friend Kathy White that y'all keep trying to tie me into her death. It is not true. She was not having an affair with, with uh, Jay-Z. She never told me she was messing with him. Matter of fact, when she died, she had a boyfriend. His name yeah. was Malcolm, and she died with him. I need y'all to stop this rumor that, that she was pregnant by Jay-Z. She never told me that. I never seen her pregnant. I seen her drinking. We went to Magic Mountain, Six Flags together, and was on the rides. These are not things that people that are pregnant by superstars do. No. They try to protect that fetus. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. So I need y'all to stop, and people keep saying this shit, and it pisses me off. I'm sure it doesn't make her family feel good to constantly see this being brought up, that she was this mistress. She never told me. I met her in... Um, Memorial Day weekend in 2008, okay? We went to, I went to Vegas with my friend Nikki Chu, so go ask her, okay? I've been not saying her name. She introduced me to her. We, we stayed in the same hotel room because back then we was broke, yeah. okay? We <laughs> knew what girls do in Vegas. We did a girls trip, and she was like, my girl, Corey, she's cool. When we went out, we saw Jay-Z's assistant, who knew me from before. I auditioned for his videos, and we were cool. She invited us to dinner at Tao. Diddy, Jay-Z, Larry Johnson was at the dinner table. And this is an exclusive, y'all. I'm finally telling y'all. We was all around. Kathy was there. He was, nobody was hitting on us. We were actually like sitting there like, we don't belong at this table. And then we all walked to Tao, the back entrance, and was at a club. His table was here, and we were a table over. At one point, Jay-Z handed me a bottle of Ace of Spades, and we all had our bottles up. Someone took a picture. That is it. I got drunk, went back to the room, woke up the next day. Like, that was it. Nobody fucked nobody. That's what happened. And another time we saw him was another big weekend. If y'all are not familiar with Vegas, I know I'm going along. Memorial Day weekend, fight weekend, Labor Day weekend. That's when a lot of celebrities used to come out. So it would not be rare or odd to see a Diddy, a Jay-Z, an Eve, a, a this or that, a Little yeah. Kim. They would be out there for that. We randomly ran into him. Now, the second time we saw him, he was definitely out there, and he had a show. Okay? He had a concert. And he was not paying my friend no mind. Like, we were all there, and he was just, like, polite. And he was not flirting with no one. There was nothing going on. So I need y'all to stop with this false narrative. A blogger, Jackie Jasper of Hollywood Street King, put this story out in 2008 because he was fed it from my hating ass ex that was trying to ruin my reputation so he was taking any little things oh she was doing this it was doing this. she's jealous that he hit on her and not her it's not true y'all and y'all running with one source and then jaguar gets on and reiterate brings the shit back up and y'all believe it now i'm not saying that she don't say some real stuff i don't know her like that but when it comes to me i was never diddy's girl and if you had an address i would fucking serve you but you don't okay if you had an address i would serve you can't serve the homeless